The technology was critical um, because we needed a, a place to be able to document and refer to and update and keep teams all on the same page with respect to their strategic plans. It also helped us drive our sales methodology. Because the tool is tailorable, we were able to tailor it to our specific sales methodology and reinforce that with our sales teams and individuals on an ongoing basis. The, the built-in ability to drive the thought process by asking the right questions and asking for this certain information really has helped us with our ongoing sales training and um, implementation of our sales methodology. So the ability to map out our relationships and get a visual image of who we're connected with, where we may have gaps in our relationships is a very powerful tool that has been very valuable to us. So by allowing the entire account team to input information on the customers that are important to us at a strategic account level, not only customers, but it encompasses the, the contractors, system integrators, and others that may have an impact on the end customer. Our, our team used to focus on organization charts as a way to understand the customers, and by implementing technology, we were able to move away from a, a static org chart into a more meaningful relationship map that shows us the people we actually care about and the way people influence each other that may not be on an org chart. There's always people who exert influence in different ways over different individuals, and it may not always follow a direct reporting chain. So by being able to see this visually, we feel it's made a huge impact on our ability to manage and focus our efforts on, on driving net new relationships and improving relationships with existing contacts. We have three primary lines of business, but within each line of business, particularly in the hardware and software product lines, the, the product list is quite extensive. Oracle has grown over the years from being a relational database provider to having a very extensive set of offerings for our customers at every layer in the technology stack. So being able to keep track of what our customers are using, where they're using our technology, where they're using competitor technology, and where we may have potential opportunity in either you know, white space or previously owned by competitor was really a valuable view into our, our penetration within the account. So typically, with the relational database, you know, we, we were very engaged at the data level, which led to a very strong relationship. But as technology shift and other data types have become important and new technologies such as cloud, we needed to make sure that we were looking at the full picture of our relationship with the customer and where we were helping them and supporting them and, and where we needed to put more concentrated effort to improve our overall yeah, uh, market share. Uh, there are many, many providers that want to do business with our customer base. We realize we are not, um, you know, we don't have an open field to, to uh, every opportunity we want. So really being able to understand not only from our product perspective, but from their operational perspective. So this, this view really shows us more from our product level, but what we really try to do is also look at it in another way, more from the customer's operational model. So here's what it means to us from a product perspective, but how are they accomplishing their, their business operations and, and mission initiatives? So by starting with this product view, it really helps us map it back into what the customer is trying to do. And that's one of the key things that, that the tool has helped us hold up hone in on is that customer-centric thinking. By consistently reinforcing that with the tool, we are really trying to drive the sales methodology and that thought process as I referenced earlier. The, the tool helps us greatly here. I mean, one of the biggest challenges that we were having is we'd have a meeting, take down a list of actions, 
and maybe somebody would document it and then everyone would go their own way. Get together for the next meeting. What, what's happened? Well, you know, this, I didn't think it was important anymore, so I moved on. So <clears throat> this really keeps the team on track by being able to document their goals, objectives, and actions. So forcing the team to come up with mutually agreed upon team goals of what they want to accomplish, not only from a revenue perspective, but from a customer perspective. What are we going to do? What impact are we going to have on this customer? So by establishing a mutually agreed upon goal and then establishing an ob objective that will help us achieve that goal and specific actions that need to be taken to get there. So in having owners assigned and with due dates and status updates on an ongoing basis, nobody, it's, everyone can go in, see what's assigned to them, make sure they're working it so when the teams do reconvene and, and talk about things, we know things are moving forward on an ongoing basis. It's allowed us to streamline our meeting process within the account teams. One of our challenges is too much time was being spent in internal meetings. And because it required so much coordination and collaboration by, by being able to leverage the tool to help us with some of that, we've been able to free up more of their time to be customer facing versus spent in internal calls and meetings. By having the team create these plans as part of their account planning exercise and then execute on them, it really has helped us with that kind of a scope creep problem, really keeping them focused on what is it we're trying to do. It gets very easy for a salesperson to get distracted by near-term revenue and, and drop other activities that might be critically important to the growth of our relationship and business within that account at a, at a larger scale. So by forcing the teams to, to document it, it, it really pushed the accountability issue quite a bit because nobody wanted to come in to the meeting and see a big red by their name for not having completed something or being past due.